Okay, 4-3, solving equations in addition and subtraction. We've done uh, our lesson last couple of weeks on adding, subtracting, positives, negatives, multiplying and dividing, positives and negatives. So this week we're going to concentrate on putting them into equations. So here are some basic, or here is a basic equation. Get back on the pin. Let's take a look at this first example. Okay, x plus 4 equals 12. We could probably go ahead and put a number in there. We could, we could do guess and check, and we could put a number in for x and find out if we added 4 to it, it would equal 12. Let's look at the actual mathematical way of solving an equation. We need to, step number one, we need to find the operation. And by operation, I mean, is it addition? Is it a subtraction? Um, in this case, that's all we're going to have is addition and subtraction, so I'm not going to go any further. We'll do multiplication division tomorrow. So, I'm going to put that up a little bit. I don't like to do it that way. Is it addition or is it subtraction? And in this case, our operation is addition. So the second step is to do the opposite operation. Do the opposite operation to both sides. And our goal here is to get x by itself. So I want to move that positive 4. Okay, so the operation is addition. I'm adding the 4. Step 2 says do the opposite. So what's the opposite of addition? The opposite of addition is subtraction. So I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. Equations are just balances. Whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other to make the equation balance. Now, positive 4 minus 4 is going to be 0, so that's going to cancel. And I have x left over there. And then 12 minus 4 is going to give me 8. Now I could substitute that back in. It'd take me about one second to tell you that 8 plus 4 equals 12. So that's going to check. Let's get some different looks. Now, what's the variable, variable we want to solve for in this case? In this case, it's going to be y. So once I've isolated the variable, now I look and see what on the side or the same side as the y, what do I need to move? So if I put my hand over, and I can't show you my hand covering up this y, if I put my hand over the y, I have a negative 12 that I need to move. And what's the operation in front of a negative 12? Okay, the operation in front of the negative 12 is minus or subtraction. So step 2 tells me I have to do opposite of subtraction, which is going to be addition. And I have to do it to both sides of the equation. Okay, Our equal sign here is our divider. So what we do to the left side of the equal sign, we also have to do to the right side of the equal sign. So what is negative 12 plus 12? That's going to cancel. And that gives me y equals, and then 18 plus 12 is going to give me 30. So y equals 30. All right, let's do one more example. You're all going to love this one. We want to welcome back our friend, the fraction. Okay. 
So we have x plus 3 eighths equals negative 1 fourth. What is the variable we want to solve for? That's going to be x. Now let's cover up our x. And on the same side of the equal sign, what do we have to move? We have to move the positive 3 eighths. How do we do that? We do opposite operation. So the opposite of plus is minus. So we're going to subtract 3 eighths from both sides. This one will cancel. Now, oh, didn't want to do that. There we go. If I want to uh, subtract these, if I'm subtracting fractions, what do I need? And the answer would be common denominators. common denominator for 4 and 8 is going to be 8. Now, what did I have to multiply the top 4 by to make it an 8? We had to multiply it by 2, so we also need to multiply the top by 2, or the numerator, and 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Now, this is subtraction, and I have two negatives, so this is the double loser effect. If I've lost two eights and I lose three eights, that means I'm still in the loss. And what is, um, then I take the totals, what is two plus three? And that's going to be five, so it's negative five eighths. Won't have a lot of fractions, but we'll have a couple. And that is adding and subtracting equations 4-3. We'll see you tomorrow.